Hey, and welcome back to Poltergeist Board Games. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of Manila, The Savage Street, 1945, by Revolution Games, designed by Michael Ranella. And this is um, the second in the uh, Solitaire Area Movement series. The first was Stalingrad, Advance on the Volga. Um, this is, uh, that game is really fun if you haven't played it. Uh, this is a one and a half inch box. Um, the game came out in uh, it says twenty twenty three. Um, so let's see here. Fourteen plus. Uh, it comes with seventeen by twenty two inch mounted map, a sheet of five eighths uh, counters, one player aid card, one rule booklet seven six-sided dice, four green and three red. And then here's some counters, examples. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so here's our dice, the uh, four green, three red, I have our rule book, which is 16 pages, including the back. And then we have our player aid card, so sequence of play, combat phase, combat resolution, Attack value, defense values, um, random events chart. So this is just like the advance on the Volga. Um, reinforcements come in turn two, turn six. Withdrawals are on turn six. Then you have Japanese defense strategy chart. American supply costs. And then you have unit information. Tells you what area to set up in. And then Japanese um, unit information. And movement costs. Here's our counters. And here's our mounted board. Start at the top left and we'll scroll down. There's an attack and defense value track. City of Manila, your morale track. Here's where you, your turns. You've got a sequence of play, use support units, random event result. Then you have your available support units and out of action. Very, very well designed board. Has a lot of information on it to uh, keep track. And um, the board is very nice. Um, the map is very detailed. All right. Let's look at the rule book. Okay, learning to play. Got an introduction, components, the map, tells you where the, the map area is, identifiers, terrain type, 
morale track, record track. Tells you about all the different boxes. Then it goes into the pieces. Some more of the markers. It tells you how to set it up. American and Japanese. And then it goes over each sequence of play phase. Uh, stacking and control. And you got movement. And you've got combat. And you got victory conditions. And then there's a photo gallery here at the end. Example of play. And then it has a um, end phase, and then the history and suggested reading. Game strategy, how to deal with the random events, spending your supply points, Japanese defense strategies and combat. Then you have an index and glossary. Continued on the next page. Then you have a list of your all your counters. And finally on the back, you have the Japanese opening setup. And that is it. And I have this game on my uh, for tack up. If uh, you don't belong to Tack Up War Gaming um, Facebook group, it's a good uh, group to follow, and they do a challenge every year. Um, and I am, uh, you pick ten games and you try to play ten games during the year, and this is one of my games that that I'm going to be playing for the ten. So thank you for watching, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And talk to you later. Thank you.